Um, yeah. Do you ever get in that like rut where you're like, I'm stuck in this head zone, but I need to shift gears, but it's really difficult yeah. to pull out of a spot? Yeah. I mean, I've been in that headspace for about two years now. It's a it's a very difficult thing to buck um, because I I did not plan well financially. Those of you that, that know me out there have heard this story before on my Instagram and whatever. But <clears throat> basically, when I finished Mother 47, my most successful graphic novel so far, my most successful creator own book, very, very happy with it. Haven't gotten a single negative word about it, which has been a huge honor. Um, I realized I had put every scrap of my attention in that and had not planned anything after it. So suddenly I found myself kind of unemployed. I still had a bit of Kickstarter money for, you know, a few months, but I I really, you know, that doesn't give me enough time to start something new that's going to actually make money. So I was like, crap, what do I do? And my, again, my business partner, Zach Howard, had been saying for a few months at that point, why didn't you just move out here to Denver? Because I was in Sioux Falls at the time. Oh, and cool. you can work at my wife's vet clinic to get yourself back on your feet. And uh, the difficulty with starting back up a regular job is that it's you think you can just like do this for a few months, get the money and get back on it. But what you forget is that once your brain is in that different mode, it's so hard to switch back to creating. And I'm like super introverted and like that much autistic. So it's like just being out in public takes so much energy. Like at the end of the day, when it's like, I technically have an hour or two to make something, I'm completely dead. And it's like, so it's been a very rough uphill battle trying to, and I don't want to imply even in the slightest that I'm ungrateful for this wonderful opportunity because it's allowing me to, you know, pay off my uh, debt and my student loans and all that stuff. So that's been super useful, but I'm finally clawing my way back into, you know, getting back on that career horse. I got the, this mini comic planned. I'm, I'm hoping to do, you know, a, uh, a set of three mini comics sort of printed together. Um, I've got, uh, I'm working on this perspective course that I also I'm going to kickstart. So hopefully that's enough money to start taking time off at the clinic so I can actually start making comics again. And, um, like it's at first I was downright embarrassed. Cause I was like, I was a completely art supported artist for years, mm -hmm. just living on my own, just making it happen, supporting myself with art but I didn't plan well enough. And, uh, so now I'm having to deal with the consequences, which is, it's a hard lesson, but I think it's a very necessary lesson. And, um, at the end of the day, I'm grateful that I'm having to go through this because it's a really good slap on the wrist is like, don't let this happen again. Mm -hmm. So I already have a whole system set up where I basically always have something ready to go. Now I'm not going to, again, put myself in the position of not having work lined up when I finish a project. So I don't even remember where that explanation started, but that's my current situation. <laughs> no, I mean, and that's a lot to unpack there too, because, you know, for one, like a vet clinic is like a really intense job too. You know what I mean? There's like can be. a lot. It can be. Yeah. yeah. Like, it seems like, you know, you're dealing with a lot of like animals and there's a lot that goes through that doors. I'm sure that you have to like kind of cope with and like, you know, mentally channel through at that point too. And that's just like mm -hmm. animal handling. That's not even dealing with the people at that you know, essence right. too, like not even taking that on. There's a lot that goes into stuff like that. I've had friends who do clinical stuff for vets and it, I know it, it gets really rough sometimes. Yeah, um, so I, I mean, you know, coming home and then being like, Oh, I get to be creative in myself. It's you're exhausted. I mean, finding that right. energy to like put your best work out there at the same time, it's uh, right. it's draining, you know? And I think right. that's where a lot of us are just like, man, even if I do like half an hour, 15 minutes of something while well, my worst days, it's at least some progress, but even that seems like the hardest task. And I don't think a lot of like normal people realize that like we don't right. all go home and get to turn on TV and to like kick back and enjoy. No. We go home and start our other job and try to balance all this out and still deliver at our other occupation as well. Um, yeah. So there's a lot to take in there. There just alone. well, and you get like you get all this like you know, when you go to cons and stuff, people want to, you know, this is where they have their fun nerd time. And they want to talk about, have you seen this? Have you seen this? Have you read this? And I'm like, I can't, I can't articulate to you just how little time I have. Like I haven't had a moment that wasn't full of something that was absolutely necessary for like two years. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it's, it's absolutely brutal. Um, and I, you know, and at first, at first I really beat myself up. Like, why is this so hard? Just do it. And I, and uh, Zach again, you know, said like, you know, you don't really don't beat yourself up about that. Like mm -hmm. 
creative work takes so much emotional energy. Like he, he likes to say like he's had, cause he used to do a lot of rugby. He's like, I've had rugby matches that were less exhausting than one day of making comics. I was yeah. like, okay, okay. That sounds actually that that's the first thing I've heard that has gelled with my experience as opposed to all the people who've never made any kind of drawing in their life. And are like, why can't you just do it super quick and be done? It's like, yeah. no, I want it to be good. It has to be good. There's no point in doing it if it's not going to be good. And that's yeah. my, my biggest stance, I think. Oh, I totally feel you on that. Um, especially yeah. as someone who's like learning how to draw right now. And I'm trying to like get to a point where I can make my own like, you know, mini comics and whatnot. You know, I'm basically mm -hmm. essentially a writer, but I'm trying to get all my skill sets going. Um, yeah. But it's one of those things where it's like, you know, when you're attempting to put stuff on a page and you're so self-critical about yourself too, like I'm super self-critical about anything I start putting on and, mm -hmm. you know, having the energy to like visualize and put into practice and like work through it because, you know, even warming up your hand and like getting used to like what you're working with and having it come mm -hmm. out, that is just so mentally draining sometimes that your yeah. hand hasn't even done anything yet. Like you haven't right. even started and you're already exhausted right. before you sit down. You like, you know, psych right. yourself out sometimes. But yeah. people don't get like, you have to really find a channel and a vibe and a zone and like yeah. go into that and, you know, just let it wash over you. And th that's another thing is that when you get too involved, that can start impacting your day job because now you're up too late and now you're not going to get sleep right. and now you're right. drained for your work day, which is going to drain you right. for the evening that you wanted to work. And it's like, this domino yeah. cycle you have to kind of plan for that. Yeah. I had one great yeah. day. Let's hope for more, but it's, it gets rough. It's super rough. And in this economy, like are any of us okay? You know? No, like, no, no. <laughs> and again, yeah. I'm working super since I have this, this very generous and kind safety net I have right now. Like I, my, my landlady is a work friend. So my, my rent is very low for the area. Um, you know, I have the support of Zach and his wife. Like, you know, I will never, I know I can't go hungry because I have them and stuff like that. So basically everything I make goes straight to get rid of the student loan and get rid of all this stuff. Just like get rid of it because after that you have creative freedom, you know, like yeah. your money, as much as I hate it having to be about money, it is about money because money is how you buy creative freedom. Money is how you buy a peaceful day where you can just draw and make actual progress on your book. So I'm, I'm trying to take, you know, the energy I still have while I'm young and really push through this hard period so that I have the rest of my life to make stuff, you know? Yeah, no, that's a great outlook. And that's like, the harsh truth that it's hard for anyone to kind of accept and follow you know what i mean like we yeah. all say it's not about you know we're not in this to make money and we're not in this to you know all this stuff but in the long run we're in this to make money to survive as an artist you know right. like that's right. like the bottom line we all want at a certain right. point um exactly and you got to pay rent you got to eat you got to feed you got to feed the cats you know what i mean like all sorts of stuff like it's yeah. just a, in the cycle of you can't escape it so you got to figure out how to make it work for you in the best yeah. benefit. And student yeah. loans just suck. I hate, I mean, yeah. I'm it's, in debt and it, to my neck in them. Yeah. Yeah. And it's one of those things. It's like, it's often hard to validate even to yourself, which is why I started doing those uh, daily work reports on Instagram. Oh, I love just those. for my, just for my own mentality and for, uh, and, you know, kind of, kind of to yell at other people to be like, no, no, no. I'm busting my ass every second. I want you to realize this. These days are so full. Like I haven't had a not 15 hour long day in longer than I can remember. And it's yeah. just, it's just like that, but I am getting closer. It is coming. It's getting there. Do you feel like you're like getting closer to just replace it with other things though? Or do you feel like you're getting closer to actually have like downtime? Downtime is not on the menu right now. Um, and I mean, I do, I know, I understand my, you know, my own mental health needs enough that downtime has always been part of, you know, part of the schedule. Like I do oh. have a little bit of time every night where I just like wind down, read. Sometimes I like, you know, watch a show or something, but I try not to do evening screens. It makes a big difference in my life. Um, but yeah, that's to an extent, that's always been the part of it actually like taking you know like a vacation or something that's that's uh, nowhere on the horizon I don't know but what that is. someday yeah <laughs> I, I don't really do. I try to I try to pretend cons are vacations even Same. though they are 
they're more exhausting than a normal day, but at least it's in a positive way. At least it's in like the over the sense of overwhelmed is not from, I have so much work in front of me and I don't know how I'm going to process this and I'm going to go broke in two days, you know, every two days it's that again, you know, but it's like, but uh, at a con, at least the stimuli is positive. People are like, well, let me buy this. And I like your stuff. And let me, let me regale you about some completely unrelated thing, but you can tell they're just so happy to be there, you know? So yep. it's exhausting, but at least in a good way. Yeah, a hundred percent. I mean, every time I, you know, I, I was working at full time at a grocery store for a long time and it was one of those things where I'd ask for, you know, so many times off to like go to a convention and they're like, Oh cool. You get to go and have fun and relax and have a good time. But then like, I'm there doing interviews, I'm doing live stuff, I'm capturing stuff. I'm trying to like right, of also promote my own work at the same time and give out copies and trade work and schedule yeah. things. And you're like, Oh, that was my, that was my weekend off. And now I'm back to nine days straight. Cause I had five right, days off. Right. You know? like, it's not, yeah. Yeah. It's, it's no just, rest. it's not, it's not a break at all. It's just a different kind of work. It's, it's fun work, but it's like, yeah. And people who don't do that have really no sense of how it works. Like no shade at all. There's no reason they should, but it's what, like, I remember I had a friend in comics once who was like, Oh, uh, you know, a friend of mine who's not in the arts at all heard I was going to be in her city because I was at a con. She was like, Oh, we should get lunch that day. And he was like, you don't understand. <laughs> I don't, you don't bring me you're lunch. lucky if you get to eat a bunch of French fries really quickly behind your table, <laughs> like hidden under your tablecloth, you know, like you're lucky if you get that, you know, yeah, that's a con. Spread.